Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm Sean from Decreto. Today in this video, I'll show you how to create animated gradient background using Elementor Pro Custom CSS. So here's the gradient animated background as you can see that in this videos or in the as you can see the headphones and there's a text that you mean like a normal paragraph text and then buttons and the background is animating with gradients multi colors so you can do that also without just using any plugins without any extra plugins or paid plugins everything just we have to need Elementor Pro also I have a suggestions for you that I already make a video on that how you can use custom CSS without using Elementor Pro also you can watch this I'll put the video link in the description you can check out the video also I'll suggest you to use the Elementor Pro for better experience so let's move on the video so here's the wordpress admin dashboard as you can see here the elementor pro is now activated and if you hover on elementor the license option is available here so it means the elementor pro is activated now and let me go to the elementor editor page so here's the elementor editor page now we can customize all about this so i'm gonna delete this all things so let me just create a new section here so i'm creating a new structure and then click on it and then height will be minimum height and then I'm clicking this new structure so here is the I'm giving it to fit to screen and then now click on the plus icon and I'm duplicating one more once more and then click on the plus icon and at first place one image here and already I'm placing the image at first so it will working fine now go to the column section and then go to the advanced tab give some padding like that and then decrease this like this and then go to the section and go to the advanced tab and padding will be 20 pixel like that then go to the plus icon and i'm copying this whole text everything before that it is the text of home this is the text this texture white color like so this is the white color so if i paste this text in the this field so it will not gonna unvisible that's why make some background color so go to the click on the section go to the style tab and mix anything color like this color red color everything anything like that i'm just gonna just it for the text i'm doing this so i'm copying the whole column and then paste it over there so paste this and i'm deleting this column now so here's the text and the buttons paragraphs everything is now set and the image also set now now we have to decrease this this headphones now it's looking great now I'm gonna update this and if I refresh this page now so as you can see this is our test examples that is the text and the buttons and paragraphs and the images here and the background is not animating something just a, a light back solid background color so how to make the gradient animated background color I'll suggest you the with this website I will put the link of the website in the description you have to just go to the website and follow my steps at first you have to you will see this type of interface we just we have to click on add color then you have to choose your own color like I'm choosing this blue color and then again you can choose the add color then you have to choose like pink color I'm selecting now so click on select and then once more I'm clicking on add color and I'm selecting like a maroon color like that I'm selecting so now click on preview so after the click on preview you can see the gradient color background the animating now you can control the speed of her also so i'm increase if i make the increase the speed and click on preview you can see the gradient colors are moving and animating faster so you can also change the gradient angle like that if i'm setting this gradient like this angle so it will comes from this angle if i click on preview then you can see this is the comes this is the animating comes like that and then we have to put the custom this custom CSS into our custom yeah, Elementor WordPress website. So before that we have to know that Elementor CSS class. So click on the section and go to the advanced tab and go to the custom CSS. Before that go to the advanced tab and here's the CSS classes. We have to put on CSS classes like if I'm writing gradient. So we have to sorry if i'm writing like gradient bz or something anything you can write so i'm just copy i'm just writing gradient and copy this gradient text and go to the custom sys and just paste it here nothing to do just paste it here 
now go to this website again and then copy this from this bracket so if I'm zoom now so as you can see that we have to copy from this point to this point right so I'm copying this code and then go to the code and then if I'm pasting it now you can see after pasting it is not working because we have to put our CSS ID so I'm copying this cut off this and then we have to select over there and paste it so after just pasting you can see the gradient background is now working fine so it is the most awesome looking the banner if you if you just use this in your website banner it will looks more awesome so now come to the point that is it is the animation speed controllers everything so you have to also paste this just copy this code now now you have nothing to do, just paste it over there so as you can see the menu speed is also increased up before than before now we have to customize it to look more beautiful click on the section and style tab and go to the shape divider and bottom and if i'm selecting like uh, waves and then height will be increasing like that increasing like 58 pixel and width will be like that 130 pixel pixel now if i'm just refresh this page wow this looking so good and this is the before and after i make create this this is like after so how was the video please comment down that how you can make animated background with your own css i'm not putting any css before so you have you can create your own css generator like that from this website this website is also so cool to use so i'll put the all css links elementary links and the website link also in the description you have to just check out there so please comment down how is the video and if you get more videos like that subscribe to this channel and if you have any ideas about elementor wordpress then comment down your ideas we'll cover the topic later see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching